Hi, my name is Tom. Today we're going to talk about this hack for dryer vents. We all know that cleaning out old dryer vents is really a pain in the neck. I mean, these things don't come off, so trying to get anything inside here is a really big problem. So today I'm going to show you a hack on how to alter an existing dryer vent or alter a Home Depot dryer vent so that you can actually make that much easier. So the next thing you're going to ask me is how long did it take and about how much did it cost? Well, it took me about two hours and it cost about $60. The vent itself was about $30 and then the clean out kit was uh, another $30. So I want to explain how the, um, the piece was made. So basically there's a metal piece that's bent over this edge of the vent hood and there's a metal piece on the opposite side and there's a metal piece on the top. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to take an angle grinder and if you just grind down this edge then this entire flap of steel will come off leaving just this piece. If you grind or cut off the whole thing you'll lose this edge that we're trying to maintain. So basically we're going to grind down this edge just grind it off and we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side, this one here, and that's going to leave this without those two fins, but the top fin will remain. And then we're going to be able to slide it underneath that top fin and put screw holes here and the opposite side, and that's how we're going to attach it to the house. So after you've ground off the edges, you can just very easily bend off those tabs, and you're left with the hood of the vent and this one tab left at the top. We're just going to bend that slightly so that we can take off the vent. What we're trying to miss are those two little rivets that are in there that keep the thing from flying straight off and that cover obviously keeps it from um, sliding straight off. So you just want to tip it enough and bend that little ridge enough that the vent comes out. So now you have the two pieces. You have the vent and you have this flat piece that then is going to be able to um, open so you can get underneath there and clean it out when you need it. We're going to put a hole here and here, here and here so that you can screw that into the house um, so that this thing will easily pull off. So I bent the top tab up just a little bit so that I can slide the vent cover right underneath it and then it'll fit right there. Now I'm going to drill the two holes. So there's my new hood modified with the hole there and the hole there and the sloped top piece and now I'm going to put that back on the house and when I need to clean out the uh, dryer vent. I'm just going to take out those two screws and I will be able to get at the vent portion. I'll show you when I'm done. So now it's reinstalled on the house and I've got two stainless steel screws, one here and one here. I'm going to take them out. Oh, I can simply tip this out and pull it down, which leaves this little flap here, but the little flap goes up pretty easily. So now I can take this dryer clean out the Line Eater Pro Junior, uh, which I purchased at Menards, and I can slide it into, very simply into the vent, and I've got the dryer running right this way, and you can see as I pull it in, the length that I, that I'm getting out of there. And there you have it. I can reinstall the vent and in six months I'll come back and do it again. Thanks for watching. If you like it, click and subscribe.